All right, so just remember, again, it's step by step. You go through each of these features and then you put them appropriately onto there, okay? So here's the last example we're gonna work through together and then I'm gonna set you the rest of the questions in the exercise. Look carefully and have a think about the effect of the transformations you can see here, okay? Just like before, I'm gonna rearrange a teeny bit, pop that minus sign over on the left-hand side where it belongs, so I've multiplied both sides by negative one. Uh, that tells me over there immediately on the left-hand side, this thing's gonna be upside down, right? There's gonna be a vertical reflection happening, okay? So that's the first thing I know. Then I say log base two, so you'll get to see all different kinds of bases here, and obviously that makes a difference to the scale, so be cautious there. And then I've got my x plus four, so that plus four means there's going to be a horizontal translation and it's gonna go four units to the left, okay? So um, I've got my general shape in mind instead of being uh, something like this, I'm gonna have the upside down version, so it's gonna look like this. But then of course, I'm gonna do that translation over to the left and I hope you can see um, once this guy is in the right spot, I'm gonna to get to intercept as well um, once I've done the translation, okay? So let's start to get all the pieces together. Let's work out the intercepts. When x equals zero, y is going to be negative log base two zero plus four. So negative still out there on the front, log base two of four. What is the number that when you raise two to that number, to that power, you get four? Well, that's two squared. Two squared gives you four. So therefore that log is equal to two. So I've got a y-intercept, that's great. Um, and I'm anticipating that I will get an x-intercept as well from my rough look at the graphs shape. So I'll go y equals zero. Um, that means that I'll get zero equals negative log base two of x plus four. Um, that minus sign, I'll multiply both sides by negative one, so you just get log base two of x plus four equals zero. And now I'm going to do the reverse of what I did earlier on in the lesson. I'm gonna take this log equation and rewrite it as an exponential, right? So that tells me that x plus four will be equal to two to the power of zero. So now I'm gonna get x equals, subtract four from both sides, one take away four is negative three. And if I just think about my intuition, I'm like, oh, that makes sense because I thought I was moving four units to the left, so unsurprisingly, my x intercept has gone into the negatives, okay, because it's moved that far. Asymptote needs to be there as well. The asymptote is normally at x equals zero, but I've moved it four units to the left, so therefore, it's at x equals negative four. Do I need a point for scale? No, I don't, because I have two intercepts. So I've got all the information that I need. Uh, let's put this thing together. I need more space. Haven't given myself enough working room. Uh, actually, we'll just do it like this. I'll just cut this out of the way and we'll bring it back in afterwards when you're ready for that part of the exercise. So let's uh, draw myself up a set of axes here and you're welcome to follow along. Maybe you're ahead of me actually. Let's put that guy in there. And then a nice horizontal one like so. Okay, now let's have a look at all of the information that I pieced together. Um, I've got x-intercepts, I've got y-intercepts, and I also have an asymptote. So I've got x equals zero, y equals negative two. So therefore, let's, let's put this guy underneath the axis there at negative two. That looks like it's gonna be an okay spot for me. Yep, fine. Um, I'm gonna get my x-intercept and also my vertical asymptote, they're gonna kind of come in place next to each other. So they're both at negative values. So I'm gonna go negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So at negative four, that's where I'm gonna line up my asymptote, like so. Please remember always to label it, x equals negative four. And then x equals negative three, that's gonna be my intercept right there, okay? So you can kind of see now from the very rough and dirty sketch that I did up here, look at my, uh, my overall shape. You can see as it bends downward, as it curves downward, it's gonna meet um, the two spots on my uh, coordinate axes that I was hoping for. So now, uh, maybe you need to reposition your paper to get it, your, your hand in the right spot to do the curve as best as you can. But now I want to try and thread the needle through these different things. So, whoops, that was a terrible first try. I'll give that another go. Mm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. We could actually make it a little bit better on the end here. It kind of bends a little bit in a direction I didn't really want it to. So, let's make it go a little further and flatter. Yeah, 
I'm happy with that. It approaches the asymptote and it gets shallower and shallower, but uh, it does it in the negative direction. Have a look, have I got all the pieces of information that I want? Intercepts are there, which give me scale. Asymptotes there, let's label this guy. Negative log base two, x plus four. And I think I'm pretty satisfied with that.